This AI automation is honestly super underrated and is personally responsible for booking me thousands of dollars in client work. All this automation does is automatically respond to new business inquiries coming from the contact form on my website. So this is my website for The Build Room, which is my AI agency that I run with a partner of mine. And it looks like this. And we have a couple places on your website where you can kind of book a consultation with us, right? So the way the system works is that, so as soon as somebody fills out this form, it basically pings the webhook here to send the information to this automation. It's going to summarize the request from the potential client. It's going to send them a message letting them know that we received their inquiry. So this part makes it seem like a little bit more personal because it's just basically like, hey, like we got your message, we're reviewing it. And then a few minutes later, it's going to reply to their message if they're qualified. And if they're not qualified, it's actually going to send it through this AI agent that's responsible for determining the next best course of action for our potential client. So let me walk you through exactly how I set this up. So this automation saves me so much time from responding to every single inquiry personally. And it also increases my chances of closing the deals because this is an impressive system that automatically responds to the client and ideally gets them on a call because once you're on a call with them, it's way easier to close. So let me show you how it works and then I'm just going to walk you through it step by step. So basically the way the system works is if somebody comes through our website and they're super excited to work with us, come down here, we basically go ahead and fill out one of our forms, right? We can go ahead, come down to the bottom here, and this is the form. And we obviously, of course, have a couple of CTAs where they can access this too, because the more CTAs, the better. And so the client's going to come and I'm just going to put in my full name and an email that actually works so you can see the response. I'll put in my company website and select the areas that we need help with. It doesn't really matter in this case. I'm going to select the timeline for one to three months and the budget. In our case, I'm going to say under 10K and I'm going to show you why because the qualifying is actually one of the most important parts of this automation. And I'm just going to say I need an AI voice agent to automatically book, to automatically schedule new client appointments. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to send this off. And we see here we got a nice little kind of thanks for reaching out, confirmation, success screen, whatever you want to call it. And if I come over into N8N and I go into executions, we can see here that this execution is actually running up here. And you can see here, this has already ran for 12 seconds. And once this is done, we'll have a couple emails uh, waiting for us in our inbox. So step one is this is my email, right? This is me at Build Room. So you can see here, I got an email that just says new consultation requests. And this is actually coming from the website itself. So this isn't being handled inside of N8N, but this is a great start. So that it's like, oh, hey, great. Like I have a new client inquiry. We also get pinged in Slack uh, just so our team is aware of everything that's happening. But you can see here that this is my email from the client's perspective, right? And this just says, hey, Duncan, just saw your request come through for the AI voice agent for scheduling appointments. I'm currently out, but I'll take a closer look shortly and circle back, excited to dive in, talk soon. So this is really cool. The faster you respond to a client, the better. I set this to respond within three minutes, but I like this strategy of sending kind of this email first that just says we're reviewing it because it seems a little bit more personal and a little bit more natural. And I think this actually gets the client excited that they're kind of like waiting now in anticipation for my real response to their inquiry, right? And then I set it for 12 minutes later. In this case, I just did 12 seconds so I could show you it in this video. But now we actually have an official email just as, hey, Got it, AI voice agent to auto book new client appointments. We can build a focused flow that answers inquiries, qualifies basics, checks your calendar, books a slot, and sends confirmation so nothing slips through. Fastest way forward is a short discovery call. We'll map your intake path, booking rules, voice script, and handoff in 45 minutes to know exactly what's possible, timeline, and a tight price range. And then we just have this button to book a discovery call. I literally did nothing, right? I didn't write this email. I didn't send this out. The AI automation took care of everything. So let me show you how this works. So now you can see here that this succeeded and I'm just going to go ahead and click copy to editor really quick and click unpin. And so now we have this new data to work with. So again, once the form is filled out on our website, it automatically pings this webhook here. And this is the information that we're receiving down here, right? So this is the name from the contact form, the email, the company website, the services requested, the timeline. And then this is the challenge or basically like what's the system that the client needs built. Here's the budget. So let me zoom in here. So after we receive a new inquiry, we just have a wait node. And again, I have this set for three seconds for the purpose of this video, but really I'm just gonna set this to three minutes. So three minutes after we receive an inquiry, the system automatically responds. And all we're doing here is feeding this in to right now, just like a little basic chat GPT module. And we just pipe in the business needs. So if I come in here and I can scroll down to the webhook, and let me just go into the schema view because it's easier to see. And if we come down here, I basically just have the challenge. 
And we basically just pipe this in here. So we can see that if I come in here, we can see we have, I need an AI voice agent to automatically schedule new client appointments. And that's exactly what was filled into the form. And I have a very basic prompt. Look how simple this is. You are a helpful business assistant. Your task is to take the incoming business need and summarize it in a brief two to 10 word sentence. That's it. That's all we need to respond to the email. From there, we're just going to send a message. And if you don't know how to connect N8N to Gmail, I will leave a link up top that walks you through step-by-step -step how to connect to all of your Google applications in under five minutes. So there's a couple things we need here coming from the webhook. One, we need the email that we're responding to, right? And let me just close up these headers here. And again, we're just grabbing pieces from the actual contact form. So this is the email of the potential client. We're just piping this in here. We're using the Gmail send request. If you've never added this to a workflow before, you can hit tab, you can type in Gmail, come over here and we're basically all we're doing is we want to make sure that we send a message right here so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to send this message out and i just have the subject has got your request reviewing it now which is basically exactly what we're doing just lets the the client know that all right like we we got it right and we're going to review it and we're going to send something back to you and so i just have this little email that gets sent out and we can see here hey and then i just have this expression to extract the first name from the name of the client just saw your request come through for the, and then this is where we're piping in the piece from the summarize, right? Just saw your request come through for the AI voice agent for scheduling appointments. This is regurgitating their own words back to them. I'm currently out, but I'll take a closer look shortly and circle back. I'm excited to dive in and talk soon. We saw this email come through, right? Super, super cool. Love this. This is just kind of the first step. All right, so after that, what we're doing, we just have another wait note. And I set this to 12 seconds for this, but again, in practice, I actually have this set for 12 minutes later. 12 minutes later, we wanna make sure we respond quickly, but not too quickly. So it looks like we actually looked at their system. We have an idea of what they want. We know how to properly respond to them. So after 12 minutes, we're just using a set data node to grab all of the information from the original webhook. The same thing you can see here, we have the summary, we have the name, the services, the timeline, the challenge, the budget, the email. And then the thing I want to add here was to thread ID which is coming from the original message. So if we come down here, we're just grabbing the thread ID. So this way we can respond to the original thread so that we're not sending the client multiple emails which just kind of all nicely in one place so that we're all just clicking reply all. It's a much better user experience, right? Experience is everything. So from here, we just have a simple qualifier. So my partners and I have decided that we are automatically qualifying any budget over $10,000. So those are the projects that we really, really want to work on, right? Now, there are a couple of projects for less than $10,000 that we are willing to take, and that's going to be the next branch in the system. But for now, what we're doing is we're just piping in the budget from the webhook. So the client has stated in our case, all right, that the budget here, which we're just dragging in here, does not contain the word under because that's what we said on our form, right? So if I come back to the form, let me just show you real quick. We can see here the budget range says under 10K. So if we have a budget under 10K, we're saying this is actually not a qualified lead in our case, mostly. If it is a qualified lead, all we're doing is we're just replying to that original thread. We're piping the message ID coming from the set data node, right? This is the thread ID here. We're setting an HTML email because we wanna say just reviewed your request for, and then this is again coming from the summarizer, which is gonna say the AI voice agent, right? And then we're just adding these BRBR, which are just double line breaks in HTML. From what you shared, this looks like it could be a strong fit because we've already qualified them. They're willing to pay us more than $10,000. We think this is a strong fit. We're at least interested in getting on a call with them to figure out what the system is, what the scope really is, and then kind of make a real decision from there. And we just say, here's the next step. And we just have this link that says grab a spot on our calendar with a little box for them to just basically grab a link, uh, grab a call with us, right? So we can scope this properly. Our calendar fills fast, so I recommend booking a time in the next few days if you can. Again, speed is your friend in any of these client interactions. They want to know that you care, that you're interested, that you're excited to get started. And then also this just kind of creates a little sense of urgency, right? Our calendar fills fast, makes your client think like, man, like we need to get in with these people now, like we should probably pay them, right? Looking forward to see if we can help make this happen for you and then me. So that's if their budget is over $10,000. We just want to get on a call with them to figure out what the system they really want is. And then from there, we can actually create a proposal and a scope and all of those things. Now, this bottom route is kind of where things get interesting, right? So this is if the project is less than $10,000. Now, my partners and I have determined that there are a few things we can do if it's less than $10,000, right? It depends on what their budget actually is, like how complex the system is. Maybe we already have some systems like this already built that we can kind of just package up and resell for these people. Again, there's like a lot of like factors that go into play here, right? 
So this is just, again, like a little AI agent, and we're just using Open Router to basically call an LLM. If you're unfamiliar with Open Router, I'll leave a link in the description. It gives you access to every single LLM model. Right now, I'm just using GPT-5. You can use GPT-4. You can use Claude. You can use DeepSeek. You can use whatever, right? And so we just have a prompt, which is basically the user message, which is like if you're chat, typing into ChatGPT. And then we have a system message, which is how we want the actual uh, LLM to behave, right? So I'm just giving it up here the information that it needs, right? So this is the first name of our client. You can see here the first name is Duncan. That's what I filled in the form. Here's the business need, which is I need an AI voice agent to automatically schedule new client appointments. Here's the services requested, which were all those checkboxes. I'll just come back here, right? These are all these checkboxes here. And then from here, we have the timeline. Okay, how long do they have? One to three months, right? So like, again, like somebody could say like, we have a complex system, but we have a long timeline, right? And we don't have a lot of budget. So maybe we take it. Or they can say like, we have a short long, short time, or they can say like, we have a short timeline, but a lot of budget, or the project is simple, right? There's a lot of variables, right? So again, we created the system to basically qualify and validate this information for us. And this prompt here is where you would fill in your own custom information about what it is that you're actually willing to work on, right? You are a build room lead qual email agent. Your job is to read an inbound business query. And then we've already determined that the budget is less than $10,000. And we just want this to output a short personalized HTML email response, right? So here's some key rules about how to actually do the writing, right? Keep it casual, but professional. 80 to 120 words, like I like keeping things super, super brief. The goal always for me is to like get a client to take an action, get them on a call, get them like buying a prepackaged system, get them into the community in my case, right? There's any number of things that you can do, right? Emphasize speed, clarity, and outcomes, right? Outcomes is huge, right? Always position the next step as the obvious move. And the CTA should be simple with one clear, clear button, right? Cool. So here's what we've identified as some simple things that we're willing to take on, like a landing page. If a client is like, look, I don't have $10,000, but I have $2,000 for a landing page, like boom, we're in. We'll whip that out for you, right? If you're interested in working on your brand identity, here's some price ranges. If you want a pitch deck, if you want to experiment with growth, if you want a strategy workshop, or if you want like fractional advisory. And then here's some simple AI and automation builds, right? Like a lead gen workflow or CRM pipeline. So just kind of some like basic standard things that people might want. And they might not have $10,000, but maybe they have five, right? And in this case, like we've determined that these are worth it for us. And so we have a few options for downsells. If they don't have $10,000 or the project is out of scope or the client is not sure what they want, we can say, all right, like maybe like this seems like kind of interesting, but you're a little bit unclear or it's too custom or maybe it's the under under our package minimums, right? Under our budget range. Like maybe we can suggest that we just do like a $1,000 audit. We'll come in, we'll have a two hour conversation with you. We'll audit your business. We'll see what your needs are. We'll really define what's next. This is a great way to get your foot in the door with someone and basically by identifying systems systems that their business needs, you basically incentivize them to actually buy those systems from you, right? And if you're really cool, you would actually just credit these 997 back to whatever the future build is. This part, if we decide to move forward on a larger build, we'll credit the 997 directly toward your project. So this kind of makes it like a no brainer for your client, right? They're like, all right, cool. I'll pay you the 997. And then if we decide to work together, like you will basically get a thousand dollars off our next build. And I've just included a link to the calendar to sign up. Then I have a couple of community redirects, right? If the request is clearly out of scope, like if they want some crazy custom SaaS or they want heavy app development, but again, their budget is under $10,000, like I'm not going to touch that in most cases, right? So I just send them a link to my school community and say, hey, we have a lot of workflows and agents and stuff for you. Maybe check out the school community. Maybe they're interested. Maybe they're not. Again, this is not really the main point, but maybe I'll get some other members in the community. Coaching slash mentorship. I do have people come and fill out this form saying, hey, I'm looking for mentorship or coaching from you, right? This isn't really a build our team would do, but I do have a program for coaching. So if this is what they're looking for, I'll just send them a link like, hey, like just sign up here for the coaching, right? Like you don't have to bother like getting on a discovery call or anything, right? Just go ahead and sign up here. And then from there, they can figure out how to get in contact with me if they're not ready to sign up. And then I just included the links to the discovery call, the link for the audit, the link for the community and the coaching. And then just some logic around how they can make decisions, right? If it's one of the listed packages that we listed out, like send them a discovery call. If it's clearly a custom SaaS or a full stack app, or it's like a multi-system, if it's like crazy complex and time consuming, right? And the budget is less than 10K, just send them to the community. Like it's not even worth the conversation, to be honest with you. Like don't waste your time, like spending time on their stuff. If it's too crazy complex and they don't have the budget for it, it's not worth it. 
So again, we just send them to write the email now. And then from there, after that, this is basically the email formatted in nice HTML. And then we're just gonna use that Gmail node again to basically send the email to the email that came in with the message body coming from the qualifier. So, and that's it. This system is incredibly valuable for booking clients. You can see we get nice emails all waiting for you. Right, you can see here, you want an AI voice agent that books appointments. Here's what we can do. I didn't fill out any of this. So again, this is a really great way to get clients on the hook and get them to book a call with you because once they book a call with you, it is so much easier to close them. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see three automations that are making me $5,000 a month, check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.